Ukrainian citizens expected to see it uh, a long time ago, to be honest. But uh, we understand the realities within the European Union, but we do hope that till the end of this year, the final decision by uh, EU, European Parliament and other institutions will be made and uh, we will um, close these issues uh, and uh, visa liberalization, this is not about traveling, this is a very symbolic step uh, and also this shows that the trust between two strategic partners, Ukraine and European Union is in place and uh, um, this is mutual uh, for mutual ben uh, benefit both for European Union and Ukraine and also um, visa free regime this is also important signal to Mr. Putin and Putin's Russia that the West, the Europe is with Ukraine. We understand that when uh, Russia started uh, a military and economic aggression against Ukraine from illegal annexation of Crimea, military occupation of Donbass, so this is also a part of identity war against Ukrainian history, against our nation, because uh, from this Soviet time, when we used to be a part of Soviet Union, this wasn't our decision. And uh, Ukrainians, as an independent state, and as an independent, truly independent nation, we want to have horizontal partnership relations with Russia, not the vertical. This is why we are reforming our energy sector as a part of our national security. Uh, we also passed the law on decommunization when we are renaming, renaming streets, uh, demolishing monuments of Lenin and other KGB leaders from that Soviet time. We also want uh, to become uh, economically independent and our free trade agreement with the European Union, a free trade agreement that we signed this summer with Canada, we are preparing now another free trade agreements with Israel, with Turkey and others. We have to reorient our export, not to allow Russia to blackmail us uh, with uh, trade issues, banning the transit through their territory. A successful Ukraine could become a model uh, successful Ukraine, I mean, with the rule of law, truly democratic, with um, strong institution, anti-corruption institution, judiciary reform, uh, new police, new prosecutor office. This will become a model that could be shared at the whole post-Soviet space, where we still see a lot of uh, problem of transformation in this transition period. So, uh, and also for the sake of the better future of Russian citizens. This is really important to show how citizens could live better using the very rich natural resources that Russia has. We know that Russia now um, have bring a lot of uh, weaponry to the Ukraine-Russia border, and not just to Ukraine, also to Belarus. Belarus could become a next victim of uh, uh, Donbass-like uh, hybrid war. Uh, so actually, the West have to mobilize the efforts to stop Mr. Putin. The immediate steps to stabilize situation uh, that were discussed, this is a positive signal, but it's important to see results. Because within this more than two years and a half, we couldn't see any progress from Russian side to implement means obligations. Unfortunately, there is no ceasefire. This is just the fiction. If uh, we see this progress after meeting in Berlin, if during the developing of security roadmap, we will see like order, stop fightings, uh, exchange of hostages, uh, Red Cross allowed to visit uh, prisoners, hostages. Uh, second issue, this is 
um, OEC access to the occupied territories. And another, the chal very challenged issue, this is the uh, police armed mission, o OEC police armed mission, how to develop the mandate, how to negotiate within the 57 countries within the OEC, knowing that Russia could blockade because of the consensus right.